So it is very clear that the prospect of impeachment is driving Donald Trump nuts. And ever since it was announced that there would be an impeachment inquiry, he has been ranting and raving like a maniac on Twitter, even more so than usual, tweeting out presidential harassment this, presidential harassment that. And it's evident that he's unraveling. He's becoming more unhinged than he usually is. And it's like we need a new word to describe Donald Trump because unhinged really doesn't do it justice. But he's getting worse. And the reason why he's getting worse is because there's actually a considerable amount of uh, momentum for impeachment. Public support for his impeachment is rising and it's rising fast. So just last week, Public approval for impeachment was sitting at around 36%. Fast forward to today, and a new Harris X poll shows a 12-point jump in support for impeachment. A CNN SSRS poll shows a 6-point jump. A morning consult poll shows a 7-point jump. And overall, a net 13-point jump in support for impeachment, according to aggregate polling data. So, at this rate, he is set to outpace Nixon when it comes to public support for impeachment. Because remember, when we started talking about impeachment during the Nixon era, public approval for impeachment was only at 19%. But as time passed, eventually there was a solid majority that wanted to impeach President Nixon. But with Donald Trump, as we talk seriously about impeachment, when we talk about the inquiry, well, public approval was still relatively low, but higher than Nixon's. It was at 36%, but now just in the span of a week, it's already jumped a net 13 points. Support for Donald Trump's impeachment is rising faster than Nixon's. So make no mistake about it, this is not good news if you're Donald Trump, and it's obvious why he's panicking. Now, before we saw the spike in support for impeachment, he was already, as I alluded to, acting like a lunatic. He suggested that the whistleblower should be executed. But now that public support for impeachment has increased considerably, he has accused Adam Schiff of treason, literally. Um, he then oddly said that he wanted to meet his whistleblower, which is um, not normal. He accused him of spying on the president, which is not true. And finally, he quoted someone who was deranged enough to raise the specter of civil war over impeachment. This is a quote from Pastor Robert Jeffries, who said, quote, if the Democrats are successful in removing the president from office, which they never will be, it will cause a civil war-like fracture in this nation from which our country will never heal. Now, the reason why Donald Trump quoted this lunatic is because he wants to scare you. Right now, a lot of people, even on the left, don't support impeachment because this is, let's face it, a fear-based decision. They worry about the consequences, and I am too. You know, maybe it could backfire. Because during the Clinton years, impeachment for Republicans did, in fact, backfire. It made him more popular than ever once it failed in the Senate. But that same thing might not necessarily happen again. It could be another Nixon, where public support for impeachment eventually increases and it permanently damages Donald Trump. We don't know what's going to happen. That's the point. So Donald Trump knows that there's a lot of uncertainty because a lot of people don't necessarily know how this will affect Republicans or Democrats. So he's trying to play on your fear. And I'm not someone who's going to argue that Donald Trump is, you know, politically savvy and he's playing 12 dimensional chess. He just knows he can sense that people are afraid. He's trying to prey on your fears. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. Donald Trump his impeachment is not going to catalyze a civil war, and even if it did, which it won't, but even if it did, um, well, we had a civil war over the institution of slavery, and we eventually recovered. I think that we'd be able to recover and heal eventually if we impeached this dipshit. So here's the thing. As public support for impeachment continues to increase, if it does in fact follow this trajectory... Expect more insanity from the White House. It's already gotten very interesting, if that's the right word I want to use. I'm not sure. Um, maybe scary, but it's, it's, it's going to get worse. He is going to be even more unraveled. Remember, after he lost the House in 2018, the next day, he got into that tiff with uh, Jim Acosta of CNN, where he kind of stepped out from the podium 
in an attempt, I'm guessing, to uh, intimidate Jim Acosta. So the way that Donald Trump acts under pressure is he starts lashing out. He becomes unhinged, more so than usual. He's already unhinged, right? Um, but he becomes worse and worse. And you can expect him to get progressively worse if he sees that his administration could potentially be impeached. Even if you need a two-thirds majority in the Senate to impeach him, that still isn't a good look for Donald Trump. Even if it fails, it could damage him permanently. Now, there's always the issue of what will happen. Let's say, hypothetically speaking, Democrats finish their impeachment inquiry and they realize that there is enough evidence to warrant impeachment and they vote to impeach him. Well, then, of course, it would go to the Senate for a trial. But what would Mitch McConnell do? Well, um, he recently said he'd have no choice but to take up impeachment, which is huge. That's huge. So even if it fails in the Senate, this could still damage Donald Trump. In fact, it's already starting to damage Donald Trump, according to public opinion polls. But it's still early. That can change. All I'm saying is watch him. He's going to get worse. He's going to get crazier. But understand that impeachment might actually be successful at reining him in a little bit. Um, he's going to get crazier. It's going to get worse before it gets better. But this this could work. I don't know if it's going to work. It could fail. But it's already having a pretty substantial impact. So um, it's fascinating to uh, see this play out. Subscribe if you like this video, folks. Mike's tremendous, and he's doing a really, really good job. Many people are telling me about how wonderful the Humanist Report is. Bigly.